So these are sets of distance amplitude blocks. What that means is the size of the flat bottom hole stays the same, but the distance of the hole from the top surface keeps on increasing from this block to this block. So let's look at the drawings for the distance amplitude blocks. Okay, so these are the four blocks that we have which increase in height, but what stays the same is the size of the flat bottom hole. Okay, so now imagine the sound traveling in the first block and compare it with the sound traveling in the second block. Which one has to travel more distance? The one in the second block, right? So which one will have more loss of sound? The second one. So if the A scan for the first one looks something like this, then what would the A scan for the second block look like? Would the signal be closer to the initial pulse or further away from the initial pulse? It's going to be further away because it has to travel more distance. And would it be shorter or taller? It's going to be shorter, right? Because there's more loss of sound. Now take the third block. This time the sound has to travel even more distance, so it's going to be further away and even shorter in amplitude. And finally, the fourth block, the sound has to travel the most distance, so it's going to be the furthest away and the shortest height. Does that make sense? All right, so we're going to see how that looks on the screen. So watch this. It's on the first one, and this is the defect signal. It's at 80%. Then I move it on the second one. You see it drop down. That's because it has to travel more distance. Then it goes on the third one. So it drops down even further. And now if I increase the range, I see the fourth one. It goes even further down. So the amplitude goes down as the distance increases. That's distance amplitude uh, blocks.